That was a terrible idea. Ow. <laughs> Why am I like this? Ugh. Oh well, I can make a I can make a title or something like that. Oh, hang on. <coughs> hey, how's it going? Um, so if my bed stops creaking louder than I can talk, this video, um, I kind of just wanted to do a thing because I've not been in front of a camera for like over a month, and that kind of sucks. First of all, I can't remember if these glasses have been featured on the channel yet. I have a funny feeling that they might have done in McLaughlin. Which I probably should have checked before starting the video, but that's fine. This is the new hair. You kind of missed when it actually looked bluey purple, like strong. It, it's, it's faded quite a bit. I don't know how it's going to come out on camera, but it's a little bit pastely. I do really like it though. I'm still really happy with it. Thanks Shannon for doing that for me. I've got loads of hair dye in my cupboard so I can like make it all jazzy again soon. It's going to be kind of weird when I post part 3 of the Q&A. Because I'm going to be back to silver hair. Also, lip piercing. That's fucking cool. It doesn't hurt like a bitch anymore when I buy it. I really can't wait to put a ring there. I think it might be a little bit low, so it's gonna have to be quite a big ring. But I'm really excited for that. That's gonna be happening probably early April because it's like six to eight weeks from when I did it. I did it a couple of weeks back, so yeah. Uh, this is gonna be such a clusterfuck video. The thing is, I just wanna like, I just wanted to give you guys a little like update. But the last thing I filmed, filmed was Q&A, which is still ongoing. I'm very sorry about how long part two took to come out. Um, it was a combination of things. Uh, I did post a little thing about it on my Twitter, which I might screenshot and put here. But um, basically, early in February, I had a bit of a personal situation. I'm not going to go into all the details of it. It was really time consuming and draining. It, it meant that there were literally days where I'd be like, I really want to edit, but I spent the entire evening sat down talking to my parents about what was going on, or what was in my head, or how I felt, or what I should do. So. Yeah, um, there were times where I wanted to be doing stuff, but I just couldn't because of the situation I was in. That situation is now done, it's, it's in the past, it's, it's finished, it is ended, it is behind me. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> um, but then after that, I had a week where I was just really fucking spaced, where I just feel really spaced and really out of it and really just like I've got no energy and like I've got no... Yeah, just energy is, is I think the best word for it. It's like I'm just sort of drifting through the day. I'm not really here. But then after that, I did get around to finishing it and it went up on Friday last week. So if you did miss that, um, please go check that out. It's a little bit shorter than the first one, but it's still 17 minutes and there's still more to come. <laughs> um, we filmed a lot of stuff and a lot of it I want to keep in because it's good shit. It makes me laugh. But I did learn that, that Friday at four o'clock is not the best upload time. But if you did miss that, go check that out. Because there's some funny shit in there. Um, me and Kevin talking about Shrek and tattoos and stuff. But yeah, there's still more to come. So like that's that's why I haven't really filmed a lot of other stuff lately. Because I was working on that or not working on that. I have got some other shit that I want to be doing, um, which is really vague. Um, <laughs> next weekend I'm going to be in Bristol. So I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to film a couple of bits. But I'm not going to film an actual vlog for two reasons. One, it's the reason that I stopped vlogging when I went up to Luton, because I just want to go and have a good time with my friends and not have to worry about how much footage I've got or whether I've got enough for a video or where's my camera at or the rest of it. Like, I, I enjoyed making vlogs when I was going places for weekends and I still will at some point, I'm sure, but it just got to the point where I was too focused on the video and not just enjoying the time I was spending with my friends, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to be actually vlogging the weekend, but I am going to film a few bits for a project that I will hopefully be working on throughout the next couple of months. I'm not going to say what the project is, partly because it might fail. Uh, uh, you know, I don't want to be like, hey, this is a really cool thing coming up, and then it, it just completely go down the toilet and then be like, yeah, that thing that I was hyping up. Mm. But yeah, there's some, uh, there's some other project stuff that I want to be working on video-wise, non-video-wise, other content that I want to be putting on, on the channel. Um, so there's a few bits going on with that. But obviously part three of Q&A 3 with Kevin will be sort of the next video that I'm probably working on. I kind of want to get that done, uh, <laughs> which sounds terrible. This is a really rambly video and I didn't really know which order to say things in, so I've just sort of started talking and hope that I get to the end of it and say everything that I want to say. So I kind of covered off like part two taking ages and like the reasons behind that, which I wanted to put on here just to sort of say, hey, sorry guys. In terms of life update, Part of the life update I can't talk about because it's that secret project again, uh, which now that I mentioned it twice, people are going to ask me what the secret project is. Um, shit. But yeah, I'm also... Uh, there's potentially going to be quite a lot of change in my life coming up. Um, 
because I, I'm looking to move out from here, spread out into the, the world, be a real grown up. Um, I'm going to be looking at that, which is another reason that I might not be. I don't want to say that I'm not going to be active on the channel because I really want to be active on the channel. I really want to be doing stuff. It's just uh, I work a full-time job. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've only got limited time. So where I want to be working on videos, this project, finding somewhere to live, um, sorting through all of my shit, ready to move. But also then obviously like being social. So there's there's all sorts going on. So I don't want to say like. Oh no, it's going to be another month before I post another video, but like, just while I've got a lot of shit going on, it might not be as often that I'm posting videos. I do, however, quick shout out to my blog, because my blog is fucking awesome. I do post at least weekly on my blog, um, if you're not subscribed to that, if you haven't checked that out, link will be in the description, just to give myself a quick plug. I have been talking, certainly, uh, times about my mental health on there. Oh yeah, life update, mental health. Um, so I <laughs> have all of the things to fucking forget to talk about. Yeah, so coming into 2018, I made it a really big part of the year ahead. I, I deliberately spoke about it quite a bit online and with friends and family and kind of really put it out there that it was something that I was going to do, that 2018 was going to be the year that I was going to reach out and get help first and foremost, but I was going to really try and sort of work on my mental health and with the issues that I'd face. But yeah, and I, I got in contact with a service called Mind Matters. They're pretty cool from from my experience. <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, they're they're really good from 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 what I've experienced so far. So I had a I had a half an hour like phone appointment, um, and I'm now on a waiting list for some treatment. I'm really looking forward to it. One of the things I said on the phone, because one of the questions was, you know, it was in a much more professional way, but Basically, what are you looking to get out of this treatment? And I was like, I know it's not going to necessarily fix me. I know it's not necessarily going to like make all of the problems go away or anything like that. But I want to learn a some of the reasons why my brain is doing certain things, and then b how I can better catch it when it happens, and deal with it. So it's all about learning, I think, really. So I'm sort of going into it with a really positive kind of hope. <laughs> I posted a couple of things about. Yeah, on my blog. Um, but also on my blog I kind of post just a, a discussions. It was love and loss, choice, and then validation. Validation kind of creeps between the mental health chat and then sort of my brain. But uh, choice is all about, well, exactly that, about making decisions. And then love and loss is all about forming attachment and sort of dealing with when that sometimes goes wrong. I wrote it in a really difficult place, um, a place that was about to get a lot more difficult, which if you read it, you'll understand. Um, but yeah, there's some, there's some interesting stuff, there's some light stuff, there's some really deep stuff on my blog. There was a really long plug with an entire tangent dedicated to mental health in the middle, but yeah, check out my blog. Um, it's in the description. It's cool. I do post on there at least every week. If you, if you still want regular content and that's the place to go. I'm gonna wrap this up now because it was rambly as fuck and I need to like eat and shh, do other things. Shh. Uh, I'll catch you later. Hello. Hello. You alright?